So, what do you do when your designated tarot deck fails you on a particular day? Here's the backstory on this story, on this rant, on this project that you're embarking on. Doing Leanne DeLine's hashtag 78D, which is a tarot challenge where you get to explore a card <clears throat> chosen by Leanne. You, ch you go through her little calendar and you explore a card each day. Um, and I decided to work with my beloved Santa Muerte tarot deck, which is new to me. I bought this after completing the hashtag drop M78, which it was the tarot challenge that kind of inspired this challenge. Um, where I um, did the challenge using the White Newman um, tarot, which I mean, there are cards that bothered me during that one, but in hindsight, I was not as deeply invested as I am this time around, let's just say. The coincidence um, or the symbolism behind all of it is that I chose this I chose to buy this deck I was called to buy this deck intuitively based on seeing it on Leanne Deline's like content and um, uh, I fell in love with it and then I watched some like silent flips of all the cards and decided yes this is definitely the the one for me, I saved up and I bought it, and then, um, at the beginning of the year in January, for the first time ever, I've chosen a uh, word of the year, like a good planner girl does, but like a seasoned planner girl does, I should say. But I had not... Uh, chosen a tarot card of the year um, so I did the numerology and I was really excited about it and guess what I got the death card now this is not news I've shared this before but here's the thing we are two three days in to the challenge and today's card was the was the nine of pentacles and this dude just looks super lazy like and it's just not the vibe it's just not the vibe because then i look at the newman the white newman and the nine of pentacles is so much more of the writer. What is it? Oh, whatever. the right Smith way, right? But not just that. But it's the actual like. <sighs> the wording from the guide today was just like <sighs> off, 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 like. How did we get so far? How did we get so far? And the, here's the thing. This is a really good card. And it's ruined my freaking Sunday. Because all I've thought about is how I don't like this version of this card. And how I need to do something about it. So, um, as of today, I'm promising myself to start this new pro What am I doing? promise myself to start this new little project where 
I don't agree with a certain col with a certain card from the deck going forward in my tarot journal and my grimoire and my whatever you want to call this my omni journal um i'm gonna do something about it i'm gonna stop and smell the roses be present be mindful and help the deck out okay so here's what i'm gonna do we are going to sit right here with our new intentions with a new intention with our new moon intentions new moon intention is to create the content that doesn't exist right create the content that you want to see in the world so i went ahead and cut myself um a few of these little cards and see one of these has like um a drawing that i just didn't like in like pencil so i know that when i watercolor you won't even see it so now these little cards are going to live right here with my hermit card in my my deck box right on right now my hand and then we are going to this is the idea we're going to collage um, so this is the page of Pentacles and this is so this is a lady uh, skeleton version of whatever and I mean it didn't need to be female no it doesn't need to be female actually nine of Pentacles in the description very clearly says it's a woman in her garden because the first impression I had this is why I'm pissed off my first impression upon seeing the card was wow this is a really feminine man and then it said this is a woman and so I'm <clears throat> I'm upset with the Santa Marta I don't know what happened so anyway for each um, suit they changed the shape of the eyes and the nose and I want to make sure that I incorporate that in here um, but of course she's gonna be you know looking a lot like that however um, I have my I don't own a nor do I really think that I want one right now um, what am I doing here um, looking for this card again Sorry right, guys, we're, we're doing this real time though. This, this is real time. What number was it? Nine. Okay, so it's a lady and her bird, right? In a dress of abundance. So I'm going to take this and I'm gonna take these ladies and then we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna give it the Anna treatment. <laughs> so I'm gonna sign off. Thank you so much for listening to me rant. Um, yes, I am definitely even before getting the death card, even before falling in love with the Santa Muerte tarot deck, which by the way I have two videos already here on YouTube for. I was already obsessing over wanting more skulls and bones in my life decoratively speaking i cannot wait for halloween you know i always get pissed because they put halloween out like in the summer you do not understand how excited i am because i have big big decorating plans and um what else so yeah so i'm just going through a really just, just just work with me for a little bit okay just go through this with me and if you don't like it i'm sorry but it's kind of it, it it has the feeling of going to be like a whole year's worth of and i have other art that i do right so this is just in this particular practice in this particular season of my life it needs to be all skull and bones. So, in case you're wondering, this is the guided tarot. This is the only book on tarot that I own. Yes. Yes. This is the only book that I have that I own. Really, really like it. Um, highly recommend because this is, of course, now the second time that I 
do this challenge with this book. Um, the first time around we had some like, um, we had the three D's to ponder um, every day as we went through the, the cards. This time around we have a live <laughs> person giving us, we end the line, giving us um, daily, like every day there's a card, um, you know, her take on the card, her and, and like prompts and questions. So, you know, lots to like dig into. Um, which is why having the book is kind of like an old friend. So I, I kind of, I'm exploring all three versions of, you know, bringing it all together. Also, this time around, um, I want to start getting to know the, the miners a little bit better. Because, um, yeah, I just want to start, you know, being a little more fluent in tarot but slowly no rush i love what i'm doing i love what i'm about to do let's get to it because i've rambled on over 10 minutes or 11 minutes oh jesus but so we'll leave it real time just for your viewing pleasure and we're just gonna uh, I'm just gonna make sure that we're actually recording. <laughs> okay, so I'll just put this one here and this one here for right now. Sorry, you guys can't see those. Mm. Okay, so she's. She is. All right, the iPad is still on and it's freaking me out. So I started out with the old school um, RWS kind of picture. This is also the year that I'm trying to move away from reference drawing, which pff, apparently is going really well. Alright, here comes the other. That's asleep. I mean, I don't know if my fancy. Oh, she has like rose on her head. Look at this deck. Why do you make me so angry? Okay, so we got that. We got that. We got. Let's deepen the chin a little bit, and then we got a bony arm coming out, which is gonna. In our case, it's not gonna do much of anything. So, train, 
Okay, so that's her little dress. Next, we've got some background. Little bogus tree, and then there's some. There seems to be a lot of. Okay, so. Well, now she has her hand up like that. What do I want to do? I want a crow on her hand for sure. And would a queen really, I mean, she's not a queen, she's a pentacle. She's a luxuriating, you know what? What if we made the pentacles look more like um, flowers, right? I don't hear anybody saying right, but I'm going to pretend like you're all really enthusiastic about this right now. I'm just gonna go in with Pen because that's how much I trust my skills in drawing stars, which I, oh no, they're supposed to, okay, here's the story, my whole life, I've always only been able to draw this kind of star, and it's just recently that I figured out this kind of star, and here I am fucking it up, because it's supposed to be a pentacle, Erp. Whatever, we have special stars now too. One goes here, one goes here. But see, the other ones are so much pretty. I do what I want. Don't judge me. All right, cute. Um, can I show you just the most ridiculous thing that I wanna do right now? Is I freehanded we handed the stars, but I'm going to be real honest with you. I want to freehand the circles. <clears throat> I also don't want to use the pen. Okay, this is not a waterproof ink, but I don't mind the way this smears. I need a little chaos, but I also need a little structure. Don't mind me. And none of them are in the middle. Because it's my money. Yo veré. Yo veré. By the way, I'm saying yo veré, which is a very, like, I will see. Like, I do what I want. But also, I'm not going to lie to you. It's freaking snowing. Or at least like snowflaking outside. All right. <clears throat> My little coins are set. Right? I need to figure out how bones work for this arm. All right. So she's got like, where would the elbow be? Where's your elbow? Oh, your elbow is like, oh, I don't have elbow. It would just be your arm. This would be your elbow. We would, we would have like a random bone going. My bones are crazy because they bendy. And then I'm supposing the other one would be behind it. Because you know, that makes sense to me. Right? I'm making it up. I don't know. It's my first bones. Okay, so there's a little there's something there, and then a little something there. 
And then there's how many bones does the hand have again? Like a bazillion? Okay. I think that's enough fingers for the skeleton. You can only see her hand anyways. So paw. Paw. Alright. This is just scary then. Because why would I do this? Is she looking at her hand? Like what is she doing now with her hand? She's gotta be holding the damn crow. Okay, let me figure out how to do fingers now. That is a hand. <sighs> All right, now, my little crow friends. <clears throat> Can my little crow friends? Does it look like a crow though? Meh. I mean, it definitely looks like a bird. Right? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. most important part what we came to see here is the eyeballs
need um neck bones. Are you guys still there? Are you still here with me? Brian is <gasps> perfect. Um well in the front it's kind of like that, right? And then you've got like Like on a scale of cards I am frightened of having to tackle <laughs> or ever wanting to tackle, this one was not so bad. Um, there are definitely other cards that like scare the bejesus out of me and I do have no intention of wanting to like get involved with, but this one was fun. Um, let's add some color. Let's add some color. Let's add some watercolor. Clearly. <laughs> Forgot what we were here to do. Uh, should we do this fast? Let's do this fast. <laughs> 